Hello everybody on YouTube, welcome back to Ben Chill Gaming. Of course, this is Ben, and I'll be uh, driving Hopper the Hummer today. Hopefully you all enjoyed the previous episode, it's a pretty uh, epic fail on my part. Um, if you uh, guys haven't seen it, go check out the previous episode, episode uh, 7 I think it is, where uh, I uh, made quite the mistake. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it happens. We'll just keep moving on, but it was fun. So yeah, hopefully you guys are chilling, just like I am, out here playing SnowRunner once again. Thank you guys again for returning. Um, we are going to go off to the Smithville Dam. I just think uh, it's high time that we finally go out and explore the Smithville Dam before we come back here and finish any more of the missions. I think I'd still really like to kind of clear out uh, Michigan and just you know, finish most of the stuff that's here. However. I think one of the levels here, or one of the missions here requires that we go and get something from the Smithville Dam. So uh, we're just, you know, I think it's good that we finally just go out and figure things out, have a look at it, and uh, go to the Watchtowers. Now, personally, uh, I know I've probably told you guys in past episodes, but for those of you just joining, um, I have played SnowRunner a little bit. This is a new playthrough that I started just for this channel. So if you want to see every moment of the playthrough from pretty much the beginning to the ending, just start with episode one. Um, I had played SnowRunner a little bit when we started the game. Um, in one of the previous episodes, I was kind of just saying that I found this game to be quite frustrating to get started when uh, I first got going. Um, part of the reason why, again, I decided to launch this uh, YouTube channel and do recording of SnowRunner is just to kind of show people what I've learned uh, and uh, continue to learn. So uh, hopefully you guys kind of you know get uh, a better feeling of the game than what I got when I first started. Because I first started, I actually stopped like twice and thought it was uh, too challenging because of silly situations that I just basically got myself in. And that can happen real easy, so just pay attention to that. Um, we're just heading up the hill here. We're going through the main part of town. Um, we pretty much just have to go north until the far end of town. And then once we've got to the far end of town, uh, we'll probably just pull up the map and have a look. I'm not sure exactly the road to the, to the Smithville Dam, but I know that we have to go this way to get to town right the top. Wow, I did that much damage. So the suspension is blown? Almost? Whatever. Okay, moving on. I just took a Hummer with a bully bar to a small barricade and it did that much damage. But that didn't do anything. That's frustrating. Oh well, whatever. Let's just keep going. Be chillin'. Alright. So, back on the main road here. The the truck shouldn't, or the uh, town, I should say, shouldn't be too far away. I think I just keep going on this road. Smithville Dam is like off to the left somewhere, so we're gonna just pull up the map here, have a look. So yeah, I just keep going on this road. Easy. Easy. Let's go. Should we put it in high? Let's see what happens in high. Is the car like broken or are we dragging something? I have, I have a feeling it's probably partly broken, but whatever. Easy. Okay, just moving to the next waypoint marker. Just 
truck seems to always be sideways. I don't know why. Let's try high gear. High gear didn't do that well. Okay, here we go, through the tunnel. Tunnels lead to another location within the region. Every location has one or more gateways. You may traverse between locations by moving into a gateway's activation zone. Okay, sounds good. Cool. Oh, oh, okay, so that's the scene. It just pans in from the top. That's kind of cool. Okay, so then travel back to Black River. Awesome. Cool. All right. So, traveling, or pulled up the mini-map here, and seems like we have two towers right off the bat. So... We can either go right and get those ones, or go left and get those ones. I think we should go left, because there seems to be a road that goes this way, and then kind of cut back through the middle once this is opened up. So let's go see what we can do here. And we are on, I think, I hope, the right path. So let's just keep going on this main path. Let's follow the main road. Let's just see where the main road takes us. We didn't... Get, okay, so one thing to note is we didn't get a refuel when we passed through the little dam thing there. This seems to be a fuel station right here, though. Which kind of makes sense, in a way. I can refuel here, and then what's this? This is fuel cargo? This is a trailer store. Drowned vehicle. Okay, let's have a look at the map. So, hmm, there seems to be a lake. We. Okay, this road might actually take us to there. And it might take us back to where we want to go as well. Where we're going kind of curves away from the lake. Hopefully, it comes back. So, let's follow the road that we're on. Oh, look at the trees. Holy crap. Okay. That will be annoying in the future. There's another big tree. Some sort of muddy terrain here. You guys look directly ahead of us. So, let's slow down a second and have a plan of attack. I think I'm going to go to the right along kind of where the house is and try to avoid most of this. Yeah, that seems to have worked. Okay, good. Good strategy. hopping away up the hill into its first big puddle. I hope this will make this through this puddle. Dangerous water level. Come on. Got the snorkel on it. Should be okay. this rock slide. The long way discovered. Show task. Nasty rock slides clocking up the river. Husky forwarding won't take responsibility because it's in the river and not on the road. We could really use your help with this. Okay, let's have a look at the details. Service spare parts. Okay, well that's no big deal. So we could bring spare parts there. The trick is going to be getting the spare parts up the hill. Because that, that puddle is no joke, getting through that puddle. Okay, that is, a, that is a task, though, that we could complete with um, the Fleet Star. I think we could do that one with the Fleet Star. It would be a bit of a trick at the end, but we should be able to get around that. Now, can I get around that, though? It doesn't appear I can. However, there is 
a road right there behind the house. And if I took that, that might take me around this and into the area I want to be. So let's go back and get on that road. Oops, sorry. To get into auto so I can use reverse. Okay, good. Sorry guys, my, my game or my uh, computer's a bit lagging here. Let's go through the trees. Good. Again, yeah, same strategy. We're just going to go around this big muddy puddle. Now, there's supposed to be some road back behind here. So I either go straight through the trees or around them a little more. I think we should go around them probably a little bit more. Okay, yeah, I see the path. It's not very visible. Tree. Tree. <laughs> Stuck on the tree twice. There we go. Let's stop this for a second. I want to switch the time of day to morning, because I really like driving in the morning. Okay, sweet. We just got to coast down this. This is not about going quick. This is about just coasting. Whoa, look at it hop. Look at it hop. Wow. <laughs> Okay, getting up that is going to be a pain in the butt if we have to go up there. If we don't, we're, we're laughing, but if we have to go back up that way, we've definitely got some hurt getting up there. Alright, here we go. Made it. Seem to be doing well so far. There's an upgrade right there. That's kind of easy, so let's get that for sure. I say that, it's quite the steep drop. Don't roll it, and we seem to have made that without rolling that. Let's get the upgrade. Uh, not for current truck. Engageable diff, it looks like. Okay, well that's good. I really like the Chevy, uh, the Chevy uh, CK1500, it's a good little truck. Um, I really think the Hummer is also a good truck. I think I kind of prefer to use the Hummer whenever possible, however, in mud, this thing seems to get a little hung up, so. Oop, I just smacked the engine off the ground, but no matter. Well, there's the engine and the gas tank. Two for one that time. There's the engine. I hope I'm still on the right road. Let's have a look. Oh no, I'm completely off course. Um, that is a bridge, though, to an island. Let's go on an adventure. Why not? Let's go on an adventure. Let's go, let's cross the bridge and see what we can find. Yeah, we're lounging into the sunlight. Love me some lens flare. Go. Now, there is supposed to be a watchtower somewhere in front of me. To my right, okay. So, sweet. Okay, so if we keep going, we're going to get onto a beach, which will have a gap through the trees, which should get us somewhat close to the first watchtower. So let's, let's go. Let's keep going.
doing good, guys. We're uh, doing quite well here. Just moving along. Here's the, here's the beach that I was talking to you about. Okay, so there's a house. Okay, so that's the only thing that direction. If we go this way, there seems to be a path or a road that takes us up there. So we need to do a 180. Go the other direction. Okay, so there's another beach here. Oops, I don't need the winch. Uh, still don't see a connecting path. Again, we could maybe try to squeak through there somehow. Or keep going, because if we keep going, there is a road that seems to get close to it to connect. But we have uh, essentially used about um, 25% of the gas tank so far, so we just need to kind of be a little bit mindful about that. So this is just power through the little soft mud. Here's a little bit deeper mud. Oh, let's avoid the tree. I do not want to hit the tree. This just looks muddy. I'm not really liking this, but we don't really have a choice. Still made it through there. Okay, so here's a road to the right, and then some sort of house or farm to the left. Okay, that's not really a thing. Okay, so essentially we've gone past the middle watchtower. We've ended up in this upper right-hand corner. Um, great. I think we might as well just keep on going now at this point. This seems to be a mountain ridge up through the middle here, so we probably have to go around the back side in where this area is and come up this way. Seems to be where this road is taking us. So it turns into another road, and then we have to just keep on going. So, okay, well, we'll do that. Okay, well, let's go. Prepare the truck. If you're looking for some extra cash, I've got a nice little job for you. I saw a broken truck near the abandoned house. I'd be sure grateful if you could repair it. Okay, what's the details? Okay, so it's basically just a GMC truck that I need to repair. And I can repair it by using some sort of repair kit, which I don't have in this truck. So we will need to get a repair kit. Maybe I need to put that in. 
vehicles from now on because that was quite useful it would have been useful to have that there okay so we're going to keep going up and to the right I guess we're going to go away from the mud go through the grass because again I just find it easier holy smokes look at that where are we going here we're going through this puddle Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm just debating how I approach this. I'm going. St I'm going straight into the water. There's no real way around it. If I stay on the right side, I can probably get close enough to that tree. Both sides. Oh, and the water level is dangerous. snorkel in here? Wow. Keep keep that snorkel above the water, Hummer, please. Am I stuck? I appear to just be stuck. And that snorkel was not tall enough because I took quite a bit of damage to the engine. Catch the winch from there to there. Am I up and out? I might be up and out. Wow, that was a deep puddle. I need to remember I need a I need a better snorkel if we're gonna come through that area again. That was quite challenging actually getting through that puddle, because the truck actually took quite a bit of damage from the water, which I was surprised about, so um Okay, so how are you supposed to get to this watchtower? Do you just keep going? I think I'm basically committed now, guys, because... I've only got 42 liters of fuel left, so I'm at the halfway mark. If it takes me 40 liters of fuel to get to the next fuel depot, I can't make it. So, Alright, stop. I should have turned right there. And head up here. I think this is the right way, so I just gotta keep going. What is this? Is this this is a radio tower, I think. Not a watchtower. I think it's just a radio tower. Some sort of task. What is this task? This is Michigan Trial. There's an old trail close by here at the, the locals use for sport. It's pretty rugged. You have to reach all the flags on the course. Think you can beat it? Well, that sounds like fun. But I think I need to refuel. But now that I'm up here, this is just a short little jaunt to get to there. Although this is totally doable. I just don't know if I have enough fuel. 
I guess it would be the same if I had come here in this truck, regardless. Um. Okay, let's go for it. Why not? Let's do it. We only live once. Accept. Start tracking. Okay, and let's have a plan of action here. I need to go out and around the back side of this area. Here works. Not go that way, let's go this way. Oh, bang the engine, why don't you? Oh, bang the engine again, why don't you? Is that a flag? Or is that. Yeah, okay. Oh, stop. Okay. Stop for a second. Uh, yeah, we gotta go to the watchtower now. So just a somewhat plot a weird course. not very good at going over these rocks. I will 100% admit that. Alright, watchtower. Okay, now, what did I unlock? Upgrade location? Okay, hang on, let's turn off the engine first. Stop the engine, put it in park. There's a truck over here. Inter Intercontinental Transtar. That's cool. An upgrade. Well, we're going that way anyway. Lost bags. Repair the truck. And gateway to Lake Island. Okay. Oh, wow. How are we going to get flag D? I think D is last. I don't think we have a choice because we got to go down through those trees and then up the other side, and that's probably it. So let's go. Let's try to go and get flag A now. So to get to A, we need to go. This seems dangerous, but we're going to go here, and then there, and there. Let's go and get flag B first. Start the truck. Close the functions and we're off. I don't like traversing on these angles like this. I know that the truck is very easily rollable at this moment. Where am I going? This is silly. <laughs> Let's go this way, through the trees. This path. That was much better. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Appears to be the correct direction. I keep checking. 
Oops, oops. All right, here we go. Through the trees. I really have no idea where we're going. I'm just going to keep following the little waypoint markers. There's the flag. A little more. Did I get it? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so we gotta go to flag A. If you didn't roll, sweet. Good job, Hopper. All right. Let's not get stuck. I'd like to not get stuck. That's very good. Thank you, Hopper. Let's not roll. Let's not roll. Okay, good. Oh, dear Lord. Let my life flash in front of my eyes right there for a second. I'm just going to traverse back to the road. I really don't need to do anything crazy. Just get back onto the road. All right, now let's find out where the next flag is. So the next flag is probably easiest if we went here and then, no, nope. let's go here. Oh, actually, no, this is much easier. There. That would be much, much, much easier. So let's do this. Okay. We have to hurry. We are starting to get bingo on fuel. So we really, really, really need to hurry. We, we can't rush because we can't risk rolling. But at the same time, we can't, you know, we, we need to really uh, get all the way to the last flag as well, which is quite far from here. So we really, really, really need to get a move on here and try to cover ground. Hopefully not get stuck. I really appreciate it. Yes, good, good hopper. Good hopper. Okay, alright, now. We need to duck to the right. Follow the path laid out. Hopefully don't roll. Sweet, doing good. There it is. We did it. Okay, reverse now. Okay, good. Sweet. Okay, let's put the handbrake on for a second. We need to go all the way down. Okay, actually, so we're going the right direction. So this is good. So we need to go here. 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 Don't have much time to waste. Um, this is insane. Let's go. I hope to make it. I don't know if we will or not, but I hope so. I hope we have enough fuel as well. It'd be crappy if we had no, no fuel left over, but whatever. Okay, now I think i got to turn left. Yep, perfect. I remember coming through here before. Good, good. 
Okay, on the other side. Boom, 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 boom. boom. All right. This is a rock face. I'm going down a rock face. Okay. All right. Let's do it. 16, 16 liters of fuel. Come on. Let's at least get the last flag. If we get the last flag, I'll be happy. Oh, wow. I just about broke the whole truck. That's my own fault. I just started going too fast coming down the hill. I should have known better than that. So, anyway, whatever. We'll keep on going. We're still moving. So, whatever. Up the other side. Oh, all right, I know where we are now on the map. Okay, so we have a bit of an uphill climb. I do not know if this is the right way to go. We're gonna find out. It seems like it'll work. Yep, looks like it's gonna work. There's the flag. Straight up. Get up there. Bum 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 bum. Yes, been promoted to rank five. How do you like me now? That's awesome. Okay. Are we really gonna? Yeah, I don't think we're, we're not. I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. I think we're gonna get stuck. And as of course, as I say that, we seem to have killed the truck right now. <laughs> okay, well that was good. Let's recover. Actually, let's have a look. How far did we make it? Um, not that far, not that close either. But that's good to know. So we need spare parts for this boulder thing, and then we can unlock that but that's not going to do too much i think the next time oh look we can get actually spare parts in the service hub so really we just need to get here with a big vehicle and we're, we're golden so we don't need to bring anything awesome okay so what is this, this is this some upgrade um okay whatever um let's recover this truck black river garage yes Now that we're going to travel back, I think we're going to have a look at the Hummer and see if we can put the repair pieces on it that we had before, or that we needed to fix that truck. So let's go accessories. Oh no, this is interior. I didn't know I could do interior customization. This is cool. Bobbleheads? <laughs> Stickers. That's rad. I had no idea. Spare wheel, okay, uh, no. That would have been really helpful. Frame add-ons, okay, trunk repair supplies. Small amount of supplies and basic repair tools for increased self-sustainability in the field, okay, but it, it's got 150 repair parts. What does that mean? Dude, like, this is where I don't get it. Like, how do I, how do I, like, fix that car do i have to do a certain amount of repair to it because if so this would cover me although this has got spare wheels um just to be sure we're gonna put this one on I think. I think it only makes sense. We can't do the bigger snorkel. Got a spare wheel. And now that we have this, I really want to do the back thing. Where's the back thing? Stock. Slant back trunk kit. Yeah, I think this this is gonna look good. We need this in our life. So how these got uninstalled? Oh, so you can't have both at the same time. Okay. So if I sell this, what do I get? Four hundred bucks? Okay, whatever. Because I'm definitely gonna put the roof thing on. Okay, is that it? Or... I haven't got mud tires yet. 
and I can't do the big beefy all-terrain ones. I can do the little the smaller off-road ones. I don't know if that's really going to help though. Like the Hummer ones are technically rated the same, so this uh, I'm tempted to get the high-powered Scout, but we've got 14,000 and this will take most of it. I don't think that's worth it. So forget that. Let's leave the garage. Okay guys, here we are back at it again at the Smithville Dam. We've upgraded the Hummer, so now we've got some uh, some service parts on top of it, and uh, we added the new slat, uh, the, the slant black kit or whatever this is at the back, this, uh, this leather trim. So yeah, we're back here. Um, I think what I would like to do is probably just continue the way we came and see if we can repair this truck that this is talking about. Um, I'm curious to see if these parts that I bought will actually repair it or if these parts just have use for my truck. I don't know the answer, so we're going to figure it out together. Um, we're going to keep going until we get just past the fuel station, and then we are going to figure out how to get down this path. I think the last time we ducked through the back side of this house right here. And this is the easiest way down there. I'm just going to put that there just so that we've got a marker to follow and off we go so I had basically uh, I, I had known about these these like repair parts for a little while um, I didn't know if it would be useful to us so now we're definitely going to find out um, if it's useful or not for repairing this truck otherwise I don't know what we need to do we might need to like bring some actual uh, spare parts or something to it so Trees. Just gonna go a little slow to get around these trees. Don't want to go too fast. We're gonna avoid the mud. We're not gonna go through the mud. That worked very well. Oh yeah, and we were supposed to go out this way. even away. Thread it through two trees. Um, I don't think... I'm not even close to going the right way. I was supposed to go back that way. Whoops! Um... Send it. Whatever. <laughs> Down the cliff, through the trees, ladies and gentlemen. Just go slow. Just go slow. Slow. Avoid the rocks. This is actually a cliff. It is, too. Oh, there is a road at the bottom, so... You keep traversing through the trees here, slowly. And there should be a road, which there is, right there. Okay, good. Made it. Oh! <laughs> I, I thought I had made it through that unscathed. I am now stuck. Kind of like we were in the last episode. Except for this time, I get to drive out. That was awesome. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. Follow the tree line again. We need to duck back into that river like we did last time. Oh, shoot. Um... <laughs> um Okay, that was very helpful. I'm glad I did that. I'm going straight over this tree. Screw this tree. Oh, and it, the tree wasn't even a problem. I can't believe that. After all that. Um, somewhere I need to get down this bank. Okay, we're almost at the spot where we go down the bank. Jeez, look at this terrain. 
is insane. This truck just happily does it though. Okay. Across the little riverbed. Scamper over these rocks. And up the other side. And onto the road. So up the other side and onto the road. Go this way. Across here where it's a little easier. Road. There's the road. Perfect. If you can call it a road, it's a bit of a muddy path. Saving game. Sorry guys, it always lags a little bit around saving game. Whoa. Wow, okay. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am going the right way. Okay, good. Trees, deal. Just get through this crazy muddy area. Don't get bogged in. Don't get bogged down. Don't get bogged down. Come on, truck. I know you can get out. There you go. Good truck. big deal. A little bit of mud here though. And I went straight into the mud. If I go around the mud, it seems to work quite well. Okay, here we are. All right. Um, we're going to keep on going along this path until we get to repair the truck. Again, just looking for any mud to avoid. We're kind of getting sunk down in it. Um, I think it's because we were in the wrong gear. There we go. So we'll be doing better now. We're plowing into the mud more now. I think I really need to stay on top of this thing by leaving it like low or low high or something, or even high gear. What's high gear look like? High gear is this. What's low high look like? Like high but faster. Oh right, this puddle. I remember now. We are not going through that puddle. It was such a dumb mistake trying to like go through that before. There we go. Alright, prepare the truck. Show task. Accept. Start tracking. Oh, hot. I okay. So I have a hundred. Oh my god! I have to make like multiple trips here then. Repair. Not the Hummer.
Wow, okay, so 370 repair points more required. How do I, how do I have more, like, hmm. It's just, okay, so I have repair points and wheels, and this thing doesn't need wheels, it needs just more repair points. So, we should, and I guess we can't get both, can we? All right. Okay, so we what? We need to like double back then? Okay, so we're back on the main road. We're just gonna head back to the fuel station and see if uh, if we can get any like repair parts from the fuel station here. We're going slow. Side, first person view. All right, let's get fuel. All right. We don't have anything to repair it with now, which sucks. And if I go here, there's nothing to repair it with either. Dang. Dang. So we gotta get to that service hub right there. That's where we gotta go. Well, let's go get to that service hub. Off to the service hub, let's go. Okay, down the road again, on the road again, I don't know this song, but I got stuck in my head. Okay, so basically just left at the main intersection coming up, that's not really an intersection, that's a dirt road, this is an intersection. Left turn. Across the river, or through the water. This way, get the service hub it looks like. So I guess going this way might have actually made more sense. You know, hindsight being 2020 and all, like turning right instead of going left, trying to chase the uh, the watchtowers would have made more sense to come this way. So here we are. We're at some service hub thing. Whatever this is. There's a okay, a contest there, a task there. Part of the helping the community operation is supply shipment and tools to local farms. Help them recover from the flood. Make sure that it reaches them in one piece. Okay, well, no, I don't really want to do that. Is there any actual cargo here? Okay, right here, it looks like. Cargo. Can I get repair parts? Oh, repair supplies were stocked. Truck is fully repaired. That was nice. Okay, so that's good. Good to know. All right, so we just need to get fuel and then we are off to the races. Okay, cool. All right, so we need to drive from here to there and back a few times to be able to make it. Um, cool beans. I think it makes sense though to recover. I hate to say it, like you guys are probably like, why, why are you gonna recover? Just finish the mission. Well, because you know what? If we recover to the garage 
and we add the extra spare parts to this truck, then we will have everything we need. I'm just not sure if we can have both, but we're going to find out. My guess is, is that we can. So customize, frame add-ons, trunk repair supplies. So if I add this, we should have enough. I hope. So we'll have 150, 150. So we might be like 70 points short. A repair, I have 150 and 150. So we've got 300. Okay, well, we've got 300. So that would be good. Um, so um, that's probably it for this episode. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll continue the that repairing the truck in the next episode. It'll just be two quick little jaunts and then we'll uh, finish up by getting some more of the watchtowers in the Smithville Dam. But again, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's my first time going through the Smithville Dam area, so uh, it was quite interesting just to kind of explore it a little bit and I kind of know a little bit more about the layout for next time and that'll be definitely very helpful. So anyway, thanks again for watching guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you do like the action that you do see. Um, any feedback you guys drop would be positive and uh, great. I just want to have some more feedback on the channel. Hopefully you guys are liking it. Uh, again, um, if you do, if you haven't subscribed already, please smash that subscribe button. I really need help with subscribers. That will really uh, do well in the future. So thank you very much guys. Hopefully you're doing well. And remember when you are gaming, be chill. Take care. Bye-bye.